What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Full Throttle Drive. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. So as many of you can tell recently, I have not been uploading as often as I usually do and that's due to the latest project I've been working on which is wrapping my Audi R8 and it's been a great project and I have tons of fun content to share with you guys in the coming future but that's actually led me to be a little bit behind on updating you guys on the latest news for the C8 Corvette and just this past week we had new breaking video of a C8 prototype out in the wild and so I wanted to make a video and break down some of the new information some of the new things we saw in that video with you guys so let's go ahead and jump into that now So as many of you guys know, we did have the Detroit Auto Show. It came and went and we didn't receive any new news on the C8 Corvette. Now that is despite the fact that there was a very bold prediction made by Zervo 2 of the Corvette forum stating that on January 14th, the first news day of the Detroit Auto Show, we would see the official unveiling, despite the fact that GM officially said that it would not be there. So as many of us assumed, it was not there and we were correct. So unfortunately, we are going to have to wait a little bit longer until we get the official debuting of the Corvette. Nevertheless, we have seen a new video that has arised of the C8 prototype roaming the streets of Detroit. Now, I don't want to have any issue with the owner of this video, and he may have the rights to this, which I'm sure he does, and I don't want to have any copyright strikes against my channel, so we're just going to take a few looks at the actual pictures, and that's all we need to actually look at while we look at some of the new information we're getting regarding the C8. Now, there are three different things I want to go over in this video with you guys that we can clearly see on this new video that is posted. The first thing I want to talk about is the camouflage that you can see. Obviously GM is still trying to keep us in the dark and until they officially unveil it, they want to make little subtle changes to the camouflage and that's what they're doing. They still have probably false body work in there with the camouflage but it is very very light camouflage so there's only so much they can do and I, I believe that for the most part the renderings that we're seeing today that I'm showing you guys are very close to the final design, but nonetheless, they still have a thin layer of camouflage. But what we can see from this is that the front grille is quite large and there are two very large intake areas. They've covered these for the most part while testing, but we can see that this is most likely where two very large intakes on the front bumper will be positioned. Now, the second thing that I want to bring to your guys' attention is the daytime running lights. That is on the headlight display. I talked about this in an earlier video, but we can clearly see that it runs at the top portion of the headlight unit in comparison to previous generation where it was actually on the bottom side of the headlight unit. This is quite interesting, which means they are changing up a lot of parts for this new platform change. And I really like it. I think it's going to look really nice. Even though I did really enjoy the previous generation's headlights, I think they made a huge revamp even in that generation, but going up to this new generation, it's fun to see what they're doing, and I really like this overall design look. Now, the third and final point that I wanna talk about is something that you guys may have already noticed. In the previous spy shots we have of the C8 prototype Corvette, we have seen the spoiler, and the spoiler is like a two-part spoiler. I've talked about it multiple times and I never really cared for it all the way down to the renders and the renders probably get it quite close. I just, I wasn't a fan and some people may have been but I heard several different comments in the forums about people wondering about the spoiler. It also went with the boxy back end that I think a lot of us are in agreement is, is not the best look so far. Well, in the new images that we have of this prototype, we can see that they have more of a basic lip spoiler and I think that looks really good. When I had my previous C6 Corvette, one of the things that it was lacking was a rear spoiler. So I bought a ZR1 version, kind of of a lip carbon spoiler, and it looked really good. I got a lot of comments, and it's just a basic lip spoiler, but that's all that was needed to help dress up the back of the car, and I'm hoping that they are learning that with this base model. They can maybe go a little more aggressive in the coming models, but for the base model, they need to keep it nice and clean. So those are the three bits of new information we have on the C8 Corvette after 
after breaking down the latest video, and honestly, I think it's nice to see that GM is continuing to make small tweaks. Again, everything is subject to change before the car comes out, but it's nice to see the latest prototype sporting these little tweaks. Another thing I want to mention is it's nice also that they are doing some prototyping in the winter, probably getting their winter prototype testing done. And with this, I did see a comment in the forums that was quite interesting. There was a video, I guess, floating around that I haven't personally seen of a Corvette that seemed to be somewhat stuck in snow. And what the user saw was that the front and rear wheels were actually moving, which hints at possibly an all-wheel drive system. Now, we've talked about this a bunch of times, and I won't go into it anymore, but it is nice to hear that there is that possibility. Now, I don't know if we'll see that on every model, but these prototypes are all for testing, and it's a good thing if they're trying to continue to test, because if we keep bumping up in power with this rear mid-engine design, it'll be nice to have an all-wheel drive system that can absolutely put all of that power down to the ground. That will help our acceleration times immensely. Now, the final topic I want to talk about regarding Corvettes is that there is a little bit of life left in the C7 series, and that is that we have a new C7 generation series coming that is debuting at Daytona later this week, and it's quite interesting because they are paying tribute to their drivers, so it's a driver's series. Essentially, what we have is a Grand Sport with the 460 horsepower engine and a wide body design with some extra badging. But also you can add in the Z07 package that comes with the carbon ceramic brakes, as well as the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires so that you can get more traction on the track. Unfortunately, the driver's package is not cheap. It's $5,000 more than the 1LT and 2LT layouts and $6,000 more than the 3LT. So if you're deciding that you want a Grand Sport and want to add this package, it will push the price tag even more over the current Grand Sport pricing. So everyone, what are your thoughts on the new C8 prototype that we're seeing? All this new information that we've been able to break down from this latest video. And honestly, and overall, what are your thoughts? You're seeing some of the latest renders that we have and I love conversing with you guys, and if you have any new information, please drop it below. I always read all of the comments for my videos. And remember to get all of your latest information at the midenginecorvetteforum.com. That's where I get all of my information, and I get to share it with you guys. I will put a link in the description and pin it to my latest comment. But guys, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate all all of your awesome support. You guys are the best. Remember, if you have not already hit that bell notification, make sure you hit that so that every time I upload, you get the latest video straight to you. Also, if you're new to the channel, enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Also, check out my latest videos of us wrapping my Audi R8. We have lots of new projects coming up. In addition to that, we're actually almost done with the wrapping. We still have a big portion on the back of the car to do, but we're getting closer and closer, so make sure you stay up to date with that. And thank you guys always for your support. We will see you next video. Take care.